In the last lesson on ARDS management, I mentioned about using ideal body weight or IBW when we're setting our tidal volume goals. In this quick lesson here, I just wanted to review over exactly what this was. So our ideal body weight, which is also something referred to as predicted body weight or PBW, that this is, as the name suggests, the ideal or expected weight for someone given their height and gender. So the concept was initially introduced by Ben Devine in 1974. Now the ideal body weight may and often does differ from the patient's actual or total body weight when we actually weigh them. Especially in the United States, as well as many other places around the world, the average person is actually larger than what we would expect. And so a patient's composition of fat and muscle has a different influence based on the proportions of each. It was found that some medications metabolism was related more to a person's ideal body weight than their actual body weight. In addition, men, when we're comparing them to women of the same height, are generally a little bit larger, so this is something that we also have to account for. And then in the context of the last lesson on ARDS, a person's lung size doesn't change despite their total body weight. So for two people of the same height but different weights, we would actually expect their lungs to be approximately the same size. So what this means, especially for our lung protective ventilation, as well as the use of some medications, that we need to calculate our patient's ideal body weight and then use that number instead to ensure safety for them. So let's go ahead and talk about how it is that we calculate it. Now there's actually many different methods to calculating this, but the most popular one is actually the divine formula for adults. So we have two different, slightly different calculations for both men and women. So for men, we're going to start with 50 kilograms, or 110 pounds. To that, we're going to add 0.9 kilograms, or 2 pounds, times their height in centimeters minus 152. For women, we're basically just beginning with a slightly different starting number, so we're going to begin with 45.5 kilograms, or 100 pounds. Again, plus 0.9 kilograms, or 2 pounds, times their height minus 152. Now, fortunately, we actually have charts of these calculated out, so you don't actually have to do this calculation, as well as most charting systems will automatically determine what our patient's idle body weight is, um, but it is helpful to kind of understand how we got to these numbers. So let's go through just a couple of quick examples here just to help cement the calculation in here. So first, we're going to take a man who is six foot tall and figure out what his ideal body weight would be. So six foot is equal to 72 inches, which is equal to 182 centimeters. So if we're working with kilograms here, we'll take 50 kilograms plus 0.9 times 182 minus 152. Or if we're working in pounds, we do 110 plus 2 times the difference of 182 minus 152. So we know here in kilograms, we would be doing 0.9 times 30, which gives us 50 plus 27, which equals 77 kilograms. This would be our ideal body weight. If we were continuing in pounds, we'd have 110 plus 2 times 30, which equals 110 plus 60, giving us 170 pounds of ideal body weight. And then next, let's take a woman who is 5 foot 5 inches. So 5 foot 5 inches is 65 inches, which equals 165 centimeters. So here, we're going to be starting with a different beginning number. So we're going to take 45.5 kilograms plus 0.9 kilograms times... 165 minus 152. In pounds, that would be 100 pounds plus 2 times 165 minus 152. So we know that difference is 13. So on the kilogram side, we'd have 45.5 plus 0 0.9 times 13, which gives us 11.7. Adding that to 45.5 gives us 57.2 kilograms of ideal body weight. Again, if we're doing this in pounds, we'd have 100 pounds plus 2 times 13, which gives us 100 pounds plus 26, or 126 pounds of ideal body weight. So again, pretty easy calculation, and oftentimes we'll just plug in what their height is, and we've already got it figured out what their actual ideal body weight is. But hopefully you guys kind of understand why it is that this would be an important thing, especially when we're doing the lung protective ventilation for ARDS. Pretty simple lesson. Hope you guys enjoyed it. 
you did, please leave me a like on the video down below. Uh, it really helps YouTube know to show this video to other people out there, as well as leave me a comment down below. I love reading the comments that you guys leave, and I try to respond to as many people as I can. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and a special shout out to the awesome YouTube and Patreon members out there. The support that you're willing to show me and this channel is truly appreciated, so thank you guys so very much. If you'd be interested in showing additional support for this channel, you can find links to both the YouTube and Patreon membership down below. Head on over there and check out some of the perks that you guys get for doing just that, as well as check out some of the links to other nursing gear, as well as some awesome t-shirt designs I have down there as well. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next lesson that I release, otherwise, in the meantime, here's a couple awesome lessons I'm going to link to right here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, have a great day.